What's up guys, it is James here, and today we're going to be talking about Bad Batch Season 2, Episode 3, Solitary Clone. Now don't try to tell me this episode didn't have the Bad Batch in it, because Crosshair is a main focus in this particular episode. But before we get to him, we got to talk a little bit about what goes on in this story, because we're seeing the Imperial Army make their way into... Outer Rim territories, I'm assuming Outer Rim, because we don't really know where this planet is, but you have to assume that's sort of the situation that we're in, uh, and you have this new person that, you know, we may have some sort of connection with them, they go by the name Tawny Ames, uh, but they reference uh, Mina Bontari from The Clone Wars, which I even went back and watched those episodes. There's maybe some people in the background that I thought could look similar if you give them a couple years, but I don't really know if this character has ever shown up before, but it's obviously somebody who worked with her in the past. So we have that situation coming, uh, going on, and uh, the Imperial Army is trying to make their presence known, and they're pushing back. So that's kind of the situation, the setup for this episode. So Crosshair doesn't look like he's making any friends. Uh, he doesn't. He looks like he's very lonely and abandoned. Um, kind of gives me that Agent Callus feel. Um, but he is assigned to this mission, and he is not a commander of it of his own. He's under Commander Cody, which is interesting. So, you know, just like the trailer showed, we got Commander Cody in this episode. And already from the get-go, he looks like he's a little bit on the edge, saying things like, more and more reports of clones questioning the order that we got and all this. So uh, we'll see where the mission goes. But, you know, we watched this. We, you've, you've already seen this. This is a spoiler episode. So as the mission continues, great episode, by the way, execution of all of the uh, action and the story elements and stuff. I really liked how it all came together. Solid episode, especially when you, you look at just like, what was it trying to deliver? What's the message? And we'll get to that here in a second. But um, yeah, when it comes down to where this all went, you get Cody in that very pivotal moment where he has to make that decision about... Uh, killing this person and what it means to be peace. There's there's even a moment where they uh, talk with the the people that come out of the door. You know the civilians. Uh, we're the good guys and all this and all of it set up to get Cody to this point where it ends up that Crosshair ends up being the one who pulls the trigger on these people or on that governor and ends up killing her and it really puts Cody in a crazy situation because. He's realizing now that they aren't actually doing any good. I think one interesting aspect of this episode is kind of showing why those clones are leaving. So there's multiple reasons here, right? Number one, it seems like the core worlds have no need for the clones to come in and, and do all this stuff to innocent people, right? It seems like the core world is pretty pro-Empire, so nobody's really fighting against that. It's these outside worlds where the clones are needed. They're the people who are coming in and saying, we're the good guys, bang, 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 and then realizing maybe we're not, like, <laughs> like are we the baddies kind of thing, right? And uh, so that's interesting. So it's the clones uh, that are being put in the situations of questioning what the Empire is doing, probably more than, you know, anybody else. And as we saw in the last episode, we have clones that are being straight up killed off by the Empire if they question that order uh, from Rampart himself saying, you know, we have to be doing this. And if you get in our way, we will cut you off. We will falsify the records. We will do that. So that's reason number two that clones are going missing. They're being killed off by the Empire. Uh, and number one, again, being they're just questioning the order in general because they're seeing who they're actually harming. The third reason I think is a little subtle, but as, and I could be wrong on this, put in the comments if I'm not, if I'm seeing this wrong, because sometimes I get confused about certain things, but as Cody was leaving that facility with his group of clones that made it out, the people that they brought in to occupy that territory were like first generation stormtroopers and not clone troopers. So it was very evident to Cody and to 
uh, crosshair at that moment that they were sort of in the process of being replaced. And then Crosshair has that conversation with Rampart at the end, and he's like, yeah, more and more seem to just keep going missing, Cody included, right? And it's just this this thing like, yeah, they're getting replaced, they're getting killed off, uh, and a lot of them are, are starting to kind of wise up to the situation that they're in, think a little bit more clearly, and leave. So this episode tells a lot in that 23, 24-minute time span. One more thing I want to discuss is sort of like my hopes for the season. Yeah, I know we got Cody in the the trailer, but it was like I'm hoping that Cody has a relevant part of this story. He's already given us a lot saying like, okay, this is where Cody ended up. He ended up leaving um, and he ended up having kind of a hero moment, if you will, by by making the right choice and not killing that person. But I'm, I think this trends to us possibly getting more Cody later in the season and showing it's not just that he disappeared. Because when are we going to, sh- I mean, w- what more are we going to get? Like, we're just going to get the, the information that he left and then that's it. That's it. Like, this is it, now the furthest point in the timeline that we have of Cody, if I'm not mistaken. So it's, it's interesting. And I think it really sets up him being a, a more pivotal part of the uh, season as it goes on. Which is interesting because I sort of predicted that he would be the bad clone and that he would continue down that path. And that would give another reason for Crosshair to be redeemed. But more so in this episode, they show Crosshair making the bad decisions. I don't know if that's one of those things where they're building it up to then make his redemption even more like big. I don't know, like eventful. But it's starting to get to that point that people did with Ben Solo, for instance. Well, Kylo Ren, I should say, is that it it becomes hard to redeem that character because of you, you get to actually see all of the choices that they're making. And him pulling that trigger and killing this governor, even though it's very evident in that moment that, that he's on the wrong side... I don't know. It still seems like they're leaning. They they want us to go that direction. That crosshair is very conflicted, but I'm having a hard time thinking now after just a few episodes from my hopes of season two video that he's going to end up in a good place. And I think if like they do redeem him, it might end up being more of a Darth Vader situation where it's like at the last minute he does something, but he doesn't make it out or something along those lines. So don't forget that I am watching these episodes the same as you guys are. I do have advanced copies, but I'm only watching one episode and doing my recording. So when I'm speculating, I'm speculating the same as you. And I am very excited to see where it's going to go. I don't know at this point. So if you guys want to have that conversation, make sure you leave a, a comment uh, in uh, the, this video and you know like and subscribe and do all that other things so we can continue our conversation into later episodes. Uh, episode four is coming next week. Uh, but if you guys want to hang out with us and talk a- other Star Wars or or Willow, for instance, we're always doing live videos. We normally have TRB Live on Thursdays. So come and hang out with us and talk Star Wars, all things Star Wars. Here we are on the channel Resistance Broadcast. I've been James Bainey. I'll see you guys next week for another episode of the Bad Batch Reaction Show. See you then.